conversation with the president. So uh, thanks for being here. Hi, everybody. Uh, I won't repeat what I said uh, to the troops about the importance of this place, but since I know there are some folks from the local community here, some press from the local community, Aviano, just want to say how appreciative we are for our Italian uh, hosts. We have great relations with the community here. We're very grateful. And of course, we're two countries that share a lot of interests uh, in the world. We protect one another and we protect the things that we stand for. And uh, it's a great um, privilege for the United States to have friends like Italy. Start up Bob? Bob? Secretary, uh, following up on your announcement about killing the three uh, ISIL leaders in Syria, uh, one wonders about the meaning of this sort of development, uh, given the possibility that uh, ISIL can just replace these people. Well, this is just an, up, uh, an, an update. We're doing this all the time, Bob. Um, and it's a reminder that uh, even as we uh, uh, carry out the uh, campaign uh, to eliminate ISIL in Mosul and Raqqa, that we remain focused on and are consistently operating against uh, those who intend to conduct attacks upon the United States. Uh, that's an important priority. That's the, that is the priority the President has given us. Uh, and I think it's important for people to know that we are um, uh, carrying out those kinds of operations. We don't share all of them. Uh, we don't share them all in real time. We don't share them in detail. Uh, but it's a very high priority uh, for us. And these are people who were involved in an attack that many people will recognize. Uh, we're, sometimes we're taking out people who are involved in plots that, that never happened because they were taken out. Uh, but a couple of these guys were involved in the Paris plotting and that's is a uh, that uh, people will recognize that as uh, significant to their own protection, um, and uh, you're, we will continue to do this. Uh, we do it all the time. Uh, we'll continue to do it, and we have to continue to do it. At the same time, uh, we're taking out these external plotters, as I mentioned earlier. We're taking out ISIL's uh, leadership on the battlefield in Mosul and Raqqa too. Uh, that goes on at the same time we take out their external plotters. So this will continue. Ryan? Uh, thank you, Mr. Secretary. I'd like to ask you about your comments about the operation in Saudi Arabia. And I believe I heard you correctly, you said it was concluded. And does ISIS currently control any territory in Saudi Arabia? Uh, well, there are, the, what has concluded in Saudi is, if you recall, there were those, the, the, as we were uh, uh, supporting uh, uh, the GNA associated uh, forces at their request and uh, the ISIL fighters there had uh, essentially been bottled up into one little corner and since uh, we conduct our our op air operations it's worth noting that uh, uh, as a matter of principle uh, uh, in uh, with careful attention to civilian casualties, we didn't just go in and level that last little corner uh, of CERT. And so it took some time uh, before ICE, that entire, all of CERT was um, in GNA uh, forces control. And that's worth noting, both because of the manner in which we did it, which was very deliberate and respectful of human casualties, and because it was over. That doesn't eliminate ISIL in Libya. Uh, and we know that. And there, that was the, CERT was the most important single nest and stronghold of ISIL in Libya. But as other, it appears, other places, we're prepared to take action there. And we're always prepared to take action against those who are threatening the United States. And we have consistently uh, done that. But that was the most important location, single location, uh, they had in CERN. It was important to eliminate them from that, and we, we did that. Moreover, we did that um, with, with the uh, care and values that you'd expect of the U.S. and its coalition. David? Mr. Secretary, you mentioned uh, 
Aviano as being part of the effort to reinforce the, the eastern flank right. of the Kurds. Uh, today, uh, President-elect Trump named uh, Rex Tillerson uh, nominated him for his press secretary. So he's very close to Russia. And, and I guess it raises the question, how confident are you that the European reassurance initiative will go forward? I know that the money is going to be quite for the next year. But can these countries deal with any confidence that the United States actually will continue with this in the next year? Well, uh, the fact remains that um, Russia uh, has been building up uh, its uh, uh, military uh, uh, brandishing nuclear weapons, uh, that it uh, uh, is occupying Crimea, uh, that it poses um, and practices uh, for asymmetrical warfare and hybrid warfare uh, here in Euro Europe, uh, that it's widely regarded in Europe that uh, Russia today, as opposed to Russia of some years ago, uh, is directly threatening to the security of Europe. Uh, and uh, that's an interest that we share with our NATO, with NATO and our interests are enduring. Your message, Eric? It's not for me to comment on changes in, in government here in, in Italy. I'll just say the same thing in, uh, that I just said in, in reference to my own uh, country. Our, our interests, our values, our friendship, these are enduring things. They, have, they, have, uh, they began decades ago. They've continued for decades. Uh, and it's because our people tend to want uh, similar things for their countries, uh, for their children's future, and to see threats similarly. Uh, the pros prospect of Russian aggression, uh, the threat from ISIL, uh, these are things that our people share. Uh, well, I mean, uh, the, the things we're doing uh, around the world are, uh, are, are buttressed by our enduring uh, in interests and strategy. Um, and so I'm confident that the logic of that will continue. Uh, likewise, the things we do to ensure that uh, we have the best technology in the future, to ensure that we have the best people in the future. These are all things that make sense because they are intended to ensure that we protect our people and they're intended to sure, ensure that tomorrow's military is, fi is as fine as today's military. Uh, so these are things that make sense, and therefore I think that they will recommend themselves uh, to a future administration. I certainly expect uh, to uh, uh, hand things off uh, very smoothly to my successor. I'm committed to doing that. Uh, but these are things that speak for themselves because they have a logic, they make sense, and they're important to do for our country's security. Dave. Uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, you saw the arrival of the F-35s in Israel last night. Uh, President-elect Trump uh, tanked the cost overrun to that program yesterday in a tweet and suggested that it was a place where you could save billions. Is it correct? That you could save billions by, say, reducing the, the price of those planes? Well, the F-35 is um, uh, 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 central to the tactical air uh, uh, plans of the Marine Corps, 
the Air Force and the Navy, uh, as well as a number of our friends and allies uh, around the world who are buying the F-35. So they all have a very strong interest in continuing to make sure that the program uh, is managed in such a way that they get the best value for their um, money. Well, the, the, um, those forces are continuing to be generated, uh, that is, to be identified, uh, to be, and to, uh, uh, be trained, equipped, and planned. And remember, the people that, when I talk about the 203 on top of the uh, 300 that are there uh, already, these are, the, these are people who connect our tens of thousands of people in the theater and, uh, and many more in the coalition military to that growing force for Raqqa. So they are, they're not the force itself, they are the connection. But it was important for us to increase the number of people who were uh, in that uh, special forces connection uh, in anticipation of a larger and more complex operation. Uh, so it had long been part of our plan that when we got to this point uh, in the Raqqa campaign, we would need to uh, increase that element. Uh, here, as in every other example, uh, when the chairman and I went to the president and described uh, that need, he, he, he approved those uh, people. So this has been a long part of the plan and expectation, but that's their role. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks, for being Thanks here. everybody.